this is from Pro Football Network. Every NFL team's best red zone target. Browns, they go Amari Cooper. Uh, two, car, two candidates lead the Browns in red zone targets last year. Uh, and Joku topped Amari 27-20. The year before, it was Cooper 33-26. Numbers are close, 53-53. It's truly a toss-up between the two. Um, I would imagine because of just the, David Njoku is a physical freak. I would imagine he's probably going to be the the preferred red zone target. I just Amari Cooper is a guy that, for whatever reason, he just goes up, puts out you know thousand yard receiving season. So he's going to have seven, eight, nine touchdowns. Isn't going to say anything. Isn't going to do anything other than help you win. I he I think he gets overlooked because he's not a diva. No, absolutely. And look, for as many teams as Amari Cooper has been on, he's one of the most underappreciated receivers in the league and one of the most consistent receivers in the league, right? He's the one guy in this Browns passing game that we know what we're going to get out of him, right? And and look, as far as the red zone thing, you know, targets are great, but you still have to be effective with them. And the Browns as a whole, and this is the part where I think the quarterback rotation and everything that was going on last year really hurt them. We have them in the bottom five last season in the red zone, in offensive grade, passing grade, and receiving grade. There was just not much about their entire passing game that worked last year in the red zone. And and part of that, when you have inexperienced quarterbacks, when you have Joe Flacco coming off his couch to play, when you have Dorian Thompson Robinson taking reps, guys like that, it's tough to gain that rapport because those quarterbacks that say the red zone is actually the hardest part of our job, right? So, look, Cooper's a good target. He's obviously a great route runner down there. Njoku is a big-time target because of his size. But they just need better execution in the red zone as a team. 